with the DNA of Speak No Evil is constantly playing with what's acceptable and what is not acceptable. This is my husband, Ben. Patrick Feld, this is my wife, Kira. It's about negotiating your instincts. Have you guys eaten lunch yet? This is a really nice place around the corner. And being aware of your environment. Before I quit my practice. You're a lawyer. Doctor, listen, you have to come and visit. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah? Yeah. Done. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's a total mind so quiet around here. Hey, you made it! I need your little bed. Do you like it? Yes, it's great. I'm interested in exploring the social horror of how you negotiate the modern world. Ta-da! You are VIP guests. Just to remind you I'm a vegetarian. Our gift oh, to you. That is so... I'm... Louise, doctor's orders. Hmm. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I loved about this script is the subtleties. Those little moments of crossing a boundary are so grounded. Well, how long has it been? 17 years. Wow. <laughs> you get less for murder. <laughs> <laughs> As we peel the layers back, things start to become less comfortable. Something's not right with him. There's clearly something else going on. Oh, no. Thank God there's a doctor in the house. I'm not a doctor. What? What, didn't you say you were a doctor? I want to pack up the car and I want to leave right now. <laughs> the tension in this film is pretty suffocating. We're just sad to see you go. They're always going just across the line of acceptability. It feels like a ticking time bomb at all times. Why are you doing this? Because you let us. You see it all coming. But that's why it's terrifying. Speak no evil.